The general procedure for manual muscle testing is as follows. The first thing you're going to do is evaluate the uh, movement first against gravity. So in this case, we're just going to look at elbow flexion as an example. So can you just bend your elbow, bring your uh, hand up toward your shoulder? All right. Now in back down. In this case, uh, the client has shown us that they have it's gravity. That tells you something already about what their manual muscle test grade is. If somebody has full active range of motion against gravity, you already know that their manual muscle test grade is at least a 3. If they didn't have full active range of motion against gravity, then you would need to uh, evaluate for grades less than 3, and we'll show how to do that in a minute. But since in this case we have full active range of motion against gravity, uh, we're going to perform um, a resisted manual muscle test. In order to do that, first we're going to uh, place our patient in the position, uh, and this is a position for the group test for elbow flexion. When you apply your force, the first thing you're going to do is stabilize the proximal segment. So you always stabilize the proximal segment and then apply resistance to a segment. The way I'm going to stabilize the proximal segment, which in this case is the humerus, uh, I'm going to just put my hand behind the humerus to stabilize that. Then you're going to apply force to the distal segment, in this case the forearm. When you apply force to that distal segment, you want to apply uh, the force gradually to allow them to build up a contraction. A full contraction takes a couple seconds to build up in a muscle, so you want to apply the force gradually so that they can do that. Um, and just a couple of other things. When you apply your force uh, to the distal segment, you always want to make sure you use a flat hand. You shouldn't grab it and then try to um, push it down. What you should do is use a flat hand and apply the force. If you use a flat hand and apply the force, the client has a much better sense of what it is uh, that they're supposed to be resisting. If you actually encircle that um, lever or segment, uh, it confuses the client proprioceptively and they don't know uh, as well what they're supposed to be resisting. The other thing that you want to make sure you do is you use your forearm and to indicate the direction of the force that you are applying. So in this case, I'm going to put a flat hand here, I'm going to put my forearm straight up and down, and I'm going to push straight down. Using your forearm to uh, make that line of force um, does two things. One thing that it does is it ensures that you are applying force in the direction that you uh, think you are. The other thing that it does is it ensures good body mechanics um, for you getting your uh, forearm behind the force rather than just trying to push down with your fingers or, or something like that. <coughs> As you apply the force, and again, you apply the force gradually, so hold this, don't let me move you. You instruct the patient to hold, 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 hold. The force that you are applying when the patient can no longer resist it, that is, um, their resistance breaks. So let's just um, simulate that. So hold, 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 and then they, they can't resist it anymore. The force that you are applying with your uh, hand that's providing the resistance is what dictates that manual muscle test grade of 3, 3 plus, 4, 5, something like that. So that's a resisted test for uh, if the uh, manual muscle test grade is above 3, that is they have full active range of motion against gravity. <clears throat> now let's pretend that my client when I asked him to bend his elbow didn't have full active range of motion. So go ahead and bend it up and maybe that's as far as he can get. Okay? Um, we know that he has full passive range, but against gravity, he can only lift it about that far. Okay? That tells us that his manual muscle test grade is somewhat less than a 3 out of 5. To differentiate scores less than a 3 out of 5, you need to use gravity minimized positioning. In this case, the um, distal segment is working against gravity to, uh, uh, to move. So if you go ahead and bend your elbow again, 
As he bends his elbow, this forearm is moving up against gravity. In order to um, achieve gravity minimized positioning, that is to re minimize the action of gravity on that distal segment, you have to make this movement in a horizontal plane. So in this case, that's very simple to do. Uh, rather than having to lift his hand up toward his shoulder, you simply raise it up and now he will go ahead and bend your arm. All right, just move the arm across and I'm going to support down here. You could do this on top of a table as well. Um, but that is gravity minimized positioning. So now the motion instead of going up away from the floor against gravity, it simply moves parallel to the floor. That is in a horizontal plane and gravity is no longer resisting this motion of elbow flexion.